Hey, Upstart fans. Well, let's discuss something very, very important, and that is what is happening to Bishop Kenge. You know, the worst thing about Kenge is it's not him, really, but his friends, his close friends. These are the people who are misleading him. They're really not advising him, telling him the truth that what he's doing is wrong. The attention that he's seeking in the negative ways are not helping him, but they're ruining him. So these friends, they really, really need to change. They really need to talk to him, tell him that what you're doing, sir, is not good. What you're doing, my friend, is not good. Hey, but the problem with them is that they're just praising him. Imagine being praised when you are trending negatively. When your name, a bishop, we know a bishop is something, is a title that sh should hold a lot of respect, that it should hold a lot of dignity. But has King Gay earned that dignity? No. What about his friends? They seem to support him. They seem to fuel his arrogance, fuel his, what can we call that? Fuel his hate fame that is being earned in the negative ways yeah he should really really try and let go of these people these are not friends a real friend will tell you my brother you are wrong my brother what you're doing is not good these scandals from sex scandals to abusing people see Fighting an MP. <laughs> now that was one of those weird moments that I really, really thought something bad is going to happen to King Gay because that MP was furious with him. And you would expect he would have done something crazy to him. But what are we learning? What are we learning from King Gay right now? We are learning that he's a man hell-bent on achieving fame no matter what. He's not being dignified like the person who anointed him. The person who was there when he was being made a bishop. You see? This, me this reminds me of what happened to him at AIPCA. Those people, they refused to make him a bishop. And in his anger, he left <laughs> to start his own church. Uh, then we hear the rumors that the church is being sponsored by a lady, a matron, and she owns a piece of, allegedly, she owns the land that the church has been built on. You see? And what happened? He is involved in a relationship with the lady. Yeah, we have heard the audios. We have heard everything, and it, and it does not even sound good for him. He is a married man, a married bishop. But does he care about anything? You can see what the lady said. The lady said that he has been spending more time at her place, six days a week, and only goes once a week, once one day a week <laughs> to his wife. It's incredible. It's really crazy. But then again, where are those friends of his? Who, the close buddies. Ah, they are only put posting messages on Facebook. Massaging his ego. Hmm? It's not good. This is not a leader. This is not a church leader. This is a man hell-bent on destroying himself. Yeah, he's a ticking time bomb. Mm. If we're not going to hear another scandal this week, I bet we're going to have another scandal this week involving him again. Yeah, that I can bet. I can bet. Mm. But the problem is that this is not a man who is yet learning. He's, 
You can see the egos from his posts. This is a man who is not learning from the mistakes he's making day by day. Hmm? The ridicule that he's subjecting his wife, his family. He does not see it. He only thinks about the fame that he's earning. And he's so destructive. If he only knew how destructive it is, it's, it's really destructive. Well, that is my take on Kienge and his church and his friends. I blame his friends. They're the worst piece. They're the worst lot. Yes.